Good morning traders and welcome back to daily forex market analysis. Let's check out what did markets what did market prepare for us today. So here we are on the USD CAD and you know you go ahead if you see something just let me know because for a while now I haven't seen anything on this pair. However, there is a bad pattern, maybe a big one. This this like a big big one. It's far far away though. So we're going to need to wait a little bit for it to complete, but this is the one that I'm be yes. Yes. So if this complete is that I'll be engaging in it with besides this I don't see anything else on this pair. Aussie cat. Same thing, same story, different pair. Just move on. I'll just move on. Aussie USD, what do we have here? Do we got anything? Uh, let's check out the time there. I'm not allowed to trade bats here. What else do we have? What is this? Did I make a mistake yesterday? We will see. Well, there was a girly yesterday that obviously I did not see. So I'll have to check up my rules and uh, because that, that was a yesterday's garlic pattern and I should have taken it if I'm allowed to take uh, garlic on this pair. Let me just double check everything. So uh, this is something that I shouldn't go overboard and oversold on, no, on the Aussie USD Gartley. Yes, I should have been this trade. So that was my... It's a trading mistake. I actually missed on 20 pips. That kind of sucks. This sucks. I missed on a trade, but it happens. If you took it, good for you guys. I did not, and it, it is. I'm I'm sorry for this to happen. It's a bummer. I need to put it down. I need to be more careful. I just didn't see it. Yep. I did not see this trade. Otherwise, I would have took it. It's a beautiful trade, pretty painful, pretty unpainful, you know, one, two, four, five, six hours and you're out for 13 pips plus eight, 20 pips roughly. But okay. Anyway, let's move forward. Euro dollar, the trade that I did take, a uh, cipher pattern still rolling over slowly. I need 15 more pips to for it to hit targets too. And then it will be for a total of 80 pips. Currently we are up, how many pips? Currently we are up. 41 pip currently that's how much we are up we will see how that go i'll need to trail that back a little bit yeah so we'll see how that go but for now it's going pretty pretty good let's just stick with it and i hope it will be if, if it breaches this kind of this structure here it, and if it doesn't turn out to be a double bottom then we have a chance for it to go down pound dollar for today uh i'm looking at a pattern from yesterday this is the weird one, the ugly one, but it, it is a pattern. I just needed not to go overbought and oversold per these rules. So that's one of the one of the things that I look for here. And then we have a pound yen, um, made a double bottom, still holding the double bottom at the structure level. Yeah, it didn't breach it. So let's check out the double bottom. Now, besides this, I don't see anything else here. So. Yeah, I believe the pound will go a little bit more down all the way to this level actually. So I don't see any significant structure here. We will see what's going to happen, but it's making some kind of a double bottom uh, pound in here. But I believe it has the opportunity to go a little bit more down. Besides this pound, pound Aussie, I need to look at it because it's not in my portfolio. And uh, basically that's it guys. That's it for the morning session. Give me. This is how I do eat my morning analysis each and every day. I wake up early, I record a video and uh, analyze the markets. Sometimes, however, just like it happened to me yesterday because I didn't check out my chart and as often as enough, I missed on a 20 pip profit opportunity, which sucks, but it happens. So it's not a, that big of a deal, but I'll have to put it down in my journal. This is the first time it happened to me and I don't feel happy about it. But just so you know, it happens. Everybody makes mistakes. So if, if you make one when you're trading, we'll have to deal with it. And by now you should already see on the screen a link to my free ebook that I spent last two months writing. If you're interested to learn how I trade and uh, to, if you're interested to learn the things that I wish I knew when I was first starting out, please click a link 
in the description or put a link that you see on the screen in a browser and follow the instructions. I'm looking forward to see you in a community of traders where we can discuss and talk trading and investing. So also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, click the like button, smash the bell button, leave a comment below and share our video so that we can help as many people as possible. Looking forward to see you in the afternoon session. Thank you very much and bye bye. And welcome back traders to the afternoon session of this Wednesday. So uh, let's start with the goodies immediately okay so as you can see we did hit both both of our targets for our euro dollar cipher pattern which equals to 80 80 something pips so this was our entry we were a little bit higher so we took around 30 pips target one and we took like 55 pips for targets two which equals around 85 pips for this trade alone which is very very good but we did also have another pattern today throughout the day which was a, uh, a bad pattern on a pound dollar and look what happened here so currently what i see from this price action is we have some kind of a news actually and the price action came down four pips to uh, pending order roughly four pips and then roll, uh, rallied up to hit my would be targets one However, because it didn't come two pips away from my targets one, uh, from my pending order, I had to leave my pending orders on until 5 p.m. Because this is my trading time. So sellers pushed the price down and got me triggered into this trade. So now I'm in a bad pattern on a pound dollar, which is roughly the risk on a pound is 70 pips total for both of my positions. So we will see how this is gonna end. It might turn out that it, it, it's a good trade and we might take a home 46 pips, roughly 50 pips for targets two and 80 pips for targets, 80 pips for targets two and 50 pips for targets one, but you never know what's gonna happen. I would like that because that would get me out of my drawdown completely. But from the price action that I see right now, it doesn't look likely. So I think it might go a little bit more down, but that's it. Basically, we are also ris risking 75 pips. So we are basically risking uh, entire win, win percentage that we won on a cipher pattern on Euro dollar. So let's hope for the best and let's see and let's hope for this one to uh, get me out of my drawdown. Besides this, on uh, today, we didn't get anything else. I actually trailed my uh, targets one and targets two because I had to. We didn't get anything else. Pony is slowly falling down. I didn't see anything here besides maybe this cipher pattern here. Let's check it out. Was this a cipher pattern? Give me a second. So this would be X to A, A to B, B to C, and C the completion, but it did not complete yet. And it's uh, for the cipher pattern, it's out of my trading time. So I will not be taking this. I can trade ciphers until noon. That means that the last candle is from noon GMT to 1 p.m. GMT with the maximum risk being 100 pips. So this is a cipher pattern that I won't be taking. However, there is another bigger one I think here, X to A, A to B, come on B to C and C D completion right there that might, might happen tomorrow. We will definitely see what's gonna happen tomorrow with this pair. I, I'll have this on a on my radar. Also, there was another pattern here on a, on a USD CAD, but the USD CAD blew up, and so obviously this pattern was invalidated, and we didn't take we didn't take any of those trades. So Aussie CAD, nothing. Aussie USD, a, a chance that I missed. Good for you if you took it. Very good. 20 pips booked it. I missed it, and this I'm putting a sticker on my screen to have a, a little bit more detail analysis because I think this is my second time I made such a mistake. Your dollar, I updated you on this. Pound dollar pushing down, having some kind of a looks like have has a problem here. We will see what's going to happen. We still have like 45 minutes to go until this candle completes. Pound yen complete uh, already showed you. Pound Aussie not moving much as well. So with that being said, guys, um, this is a da daily market analysis that I do on a daily basis when we get some kind of an action like we are getting right now. If you like this kind of a content, please consider subscribing. Make sure to click that like button, smash the bell button, leave a comment below, share a video. Let's help as many people as possible because this is the exactly 
the way how professional traders are approaching the market day in day out also on the screen right now you should be seeing an, a free bundle ebook backtesting sheet and a video tutorials on how on few of the strategies that i'm using right now in my trading that you are watching each and every day if you're following me and you are getting a link that you can follow and get the access to the ebook where i write and in the backtesting sheet and the videos where i shared everything that i wish i knew when i was first starting out which would save me a lot of my time which would save me a lot of my money i wouldn't blow as many accounts as i did i wouldn't join signal services uh copier services and bunch of nonsense that is out there and that social media wants you to think of forex and trading in general with that being said, I want to thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and hope to see you tomorrow as well. Thank you very much and bye-bye.